Hey there, it's Jacqueline, your professional matchmaker, and I just want to send you a happy holidays message. I am reflecting over the year, as many people do this time of year, and think about all the things that have happened, good, bad, ugly, and exciting. And I just want to say, first and foremost, thank you. Thank you for being here right now listening to this video, giving me the inspiration to want to share more, wanting to update you on what's happened this year and what we have in store for the new year. My agency is called Discover Love Matches, and for those of you that have been following me for a while, you'll notice that I've changed my name a couple times this year, and it's been such a journey. I love it how there's times you think one thing's going to work, and then you test it out, and it needs to evolve and tweak a little bit, but through the twists and the turns of branding, I've been able to create the agency actually where I dreamed it to be within my first year of business. After all these years of being a matchmaker, I have always found that the big focus really is how do I find enough quality singles to meet enough of our private matchmaking clients that have hired me to find their person. So with our membership site, you're able to go in and update your profile, add answers to your questions that are new and fresh, add new pictures. And one of the things I hear a lot from people when they fill out our profile is it really made them think. And that's my goal. This isn't a dating app. This is a membership site. I check every single profile that comes through. And when I get an odd request, something that does not fit with the theme of our type of support services, I don't accept them. I am not an algorithm. I'm a real person sitting here behind the computer screen and out and about meeting people for you. The great thing is that when people hire me as their matchmaker, I am now being hired to go hunt down in the best and most glorious way to find their person. And this is what I love to do. I go to events and I just ask people, do you know anybody that's single? And it's amazing how many people will point out their friends and how many people will raise their hands and ask me more questions so I can find the people for you because you're busy. You're out living your life. So I really want you to know that I have met such great people and I love it every time that I notice another person has updated their profile and while I'm checking it out I'm running through my own Rolodex of people I'm thinking that I need to tell them more details about this new person so if you haven't updated your profile or added your profile you need to get active in this it is a very unique program. The neat thing is that once you're a matchmaking client, you can do your own searches and messaging directly. Now you can upgrade even extra and get the coaching from me, the people that hire me as their coach in supporting their love journey and really giving them the inside scoop on clients and also have hired me to go look for their person. That's who I'm thinking about when I am at events. When I am meeting new people, I am thinking I need to get to know that person for my private client. I really truly feel honored and blessed that the most amazing people have reached out and chosen me to be their person for their services of finding love. We live in such a busy, busy, crazy world. That's why my membership site is allowing me now to reach out and connect with such an abundance of people. Throughout 2017, we have actually had many couples get together and many weddings. And some of the weddings, I was just so surprised how quickly they happen. And other people have been really working on their full on engagement process. And I love it. No one's rushing that. I think it's so neat that everybody works their own timelines. I think that so many times we think we have to wait a certain amount of time for dating after a bad breakup. We need to wait a certain amount of time till we can be exclusive. We have to wait a certain amount of time till we can get engaged, till we can get married. Your timeline is yours. It is about you and the person you're with. And that's what I'm here to support. And I'm excited because there's something magical. The moment somebody surrenders and they meet the other person that has just surrendered to the process and allows the journey to begin, that's when the true magic of the matchmaking and the love support comes in. Even though I, of course, want to match all of my clients, I'm also privileged because of the coaching one-on-one -on -one that I get to do with clients. Sometimes they meet someone on their own. Own. And they always stop and say, if I hadn't learned a new way to date, a new way to go about this, 
I would have missed out on that opportunity to meet my person. So whatever it takes to find your love interest, we're here to support you. We've got our Love Academy, so there's lots of classes you guys can dive into right now. And we have a whole bunch more classes. We're only in the second quarters. We're gonna have third and fourth quarter of classes. And what's really exciting is that every day there's something you can check out on our site. When you go to discoverlovematches.com, we're there filled with information, tips and ideas and inspiration to support you. So what I want for you to do is to really think about where you are now as you wrap up this year and where you want to be in the new year. I think it's important at different times in the year to stop, reflect, and pause. Look at what you can be doing. It's easy to say, if my ex hadn't done this or my finances were there, you know, if I was skinnier, if I was taller, if I was whatever, you would be in a different place. But the truth is, I have matched all types of people, all situations, and it comes from the inner core essence. Yes, we are very materialistic in certain ways, and we are physically responsive. You look at someone, and you're like, hey, she's cute, he's hot. But the reality is, is that somebody who's looking for a relationship does want to dig deeper, but you have to have that confidence, that extra personality of energy and enthusiasm. You want to be the person that is unforgettable. So as you wrap up this year, think about what you have been doing right. Like give yourself some credit, give yourself some inspiration for what has worked over the year. And think about the times that you dared yourself to say hi to a new person or go on a date with somebody that, you know, you might not have said yes to, but because you're trying to meet new people, you did. And you at least made a friend connection or a great conversation. And think about where you maybe need to push yourself a little extra. I have to say, I find that people kind of keep waiting for that person to knock on the door. And that just isn't really what you want. Do you want a door to door salesman? You know, you gotta think about what it is that you're doing, what you want, and this is your time, this is your moment. I have all the tools for you. I have amazing people for you to meet. I strongly believe that it is about quality. It is not about quantity. You don't have to go on a ton of dates. You don't have to have tons of options, but you have to broaden your own perspective, your own horizons, your own idea of what it means to be with that person you're seeking, the mystery person. Because a client asked me not too long ago, what's the biggest surprise my clients say when they hire me as their matchmaker versus doing their own searching? And I always say it's actually they're surprised by the person they fall for. You know, we still think it's going to be like high school and college where it's just that instant chemistry and you just dive into each other and you're totally absorbed in one another. Well, the reality is we're getting older, we're getting somewhat wiser, we're getting somewhat more guarded, and we need this time to kind of learn how to trust again, learn to be vulnerable again, learn to understand that everybody's coming with their own baggage, their own history, their own stories. And we judge them so quickly, but we don't understand it's some of the things are conditioned responses that have worked for other people. So what we want to do is give people a chance to learn what matters to us, teach people how to treat you, and step up to what really matters for your own journey. There is somebody for everybody. I really believe those that genuinely want to find love will find it and be graced with that when they're ready. But you know what? If you're single and you're frustrated, that's okay too. Sometimes it's good to get frustrated because you got to get to know yourself better. Maybe it's about you learning more about being more vulnerable to somebody. It's also really fun to be single. You know, it's okay. It's a neat time. There's so many positive things that you can get learning about yourself, working on your own time, your own terms. So you have more of a voice when you do find your relationship. Lately, I've been noticing some updates online from couples I've matched that I've kept in great touch with, and it just warms my heart when I see things and them talking about their lives or they might say, my beloved husband, and I'm like, you guys never would have met if you didn't trust in what I can do, and that's what means so much is that Find someone you trust to guide you, to support you, to cheer you on. You're great at everything else in your life. And the only missing link is finding the love of your life, which is a huge part. You're looking for someone to complement every other aspect of your life. So you need to make a choice at what degree do you want to get involved. 
you know, listening to our classes is an awesome way. You can just do those on your own time. We've got amazing, amazing experts covering every topic imaginable. We also have ways that we can work together. But what matters is you need to find something to break that shift. Because while you're wondering where your person is, your person is wondering where you are. So what I want to do is really let you know this works, <laughs> plain and simple. I am so honored and I am so privileged to be a matchmaker. I love working with people in their journey to find love. I love getting to know them as a real person, not just a profile and you know filling in some questions. And I love what people share. I love when people take the time. So just do a little something extra. Take everything, just tweak up. I always say, do a 15 degree shift. If you're looking at one thing and you move just 15 degrees, it doesn't mean that you're looking away from all of these things in your history, but you're also not looking in the rear view mirror. Sometimes we just need to look over a little bit. So if you just turn your head 15 degrees, what do you see that's new? What new thoughts can you have on your journey as you get into 2018? There are so many possibilities. There are so many wonderful people. And there are quality singles genuinely looking for a connection. So wherever you live, whatever you do, choose to do the and then some. And the real deal will show up. Be the person who says, I'm worth it, they're worth it, and let your own love story bloom. Because you know when you find that person or that person finds you, you're going to be so thankful. But in our crazy world of our phones and everybody looking down, we're missing out on making the eye contact, giving a soft smile, and genuinely having heart space for someone. So let me know what you're going to do to step it up in 2018 and let me know what you enjoyed in 2017 with your love journey. I am Jacqueline, professional matchmaker for Discover Love Matches, and I am here to support you, but there's a wealth of other people out there too ready to support you. Look to the people that believe in you, believe in what you want to get you to move in the direction that you want. There are such great people out there. Lately, I've been noticing that my membership is constantly changing. And I'm like, it's because my people are finding love. So as much as I miss having their profile, and I miss seeing them at events. I also celebrate that they found their person. So know that we are constantly moving and changing. Our events are often filled with half new people, half regulars, but then there's a whole ton of people on our site that nobody ever gets to meet unless they're a member. So there's so many different dynamics and ways to reach out to find love and enjoy all that's possible so i'm signing off for 2017 i wish you the best holiday i wish you safety love and tons of abundance of heart-filled wishes and guess what i'll be seeing you at 2018 and together we're gonna find and support your love journey because guess what i believe you're worth it don't you